Hi guys, this is Kidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play. Let's play Banjo Kazooie. Okay, cool. <laughs> so the last part we finished up Treasure Trove Cove. So now in this part we're gonna be doing entering another world. Hopefully this other world doesn't totally suck. Hmm. <laughs> oh, if only. Um. So first off, we want to go down here. Now that we have the spring pad, we can actually fill out the puzzle piece to get the next world, which is just dandy. And they actually give you, this is where they first give you the option to actually auto-fill. Oh no, wait, no, they give you the option to remove in case you're really, really, really angsty like that. Or maybe that was the last part and I just skipped past it. But once you put all your pieces, yeah, you can just auto-fill with Z. You know, normally, the whole premise of puzzles is being hard to solve, but you know, I guess if you have the gold and the money, you know, you can do whatever you want. Um, and we can go into Clanker's Cavern. That is, in fact, not what I want to do, but we're going to be doing it anyways, I suppose. Because you gotta do what you, uh, gotta do for fun, because this is a hobby, right? Clanker's Cavern is a hobby of mine? Apparently it is. Um, nah, it's not that bad, actually. That's a dirty lie. Ah, uh -uh. it, it is, in fact, a dirty lie, because that place is dirty. Um, but we might as well activate this guy. I don't even know who he teleports to. I don't even know what color he is. Everything seems to be the same color. It's either red or orange. It's a very obscure orange, if it is orange. But anywho, I just want to do that. I want to kind of <laughs> fill out as much time as I possibly can in this part, because uh, I know for a fact the next level is going to take more than 15 minutes, um, to put it simply. Um, unless... And hope yeah, and hopefully it doesn't take like 16 minutes, like 20 minutes, because then I'd have like a 5 minute part and be like, what the hell am I doing right now? But anywho, um, we hit the feed sign. You need to do that, right? So, going to Clanker's Cavern, I'm hearing... <laughs> uh, paranoia at its finest, viewers. Um, yeah, again, people are here. Although I had to get used to that because people are always here nowadays when I try to record. Um, well, I guess it's really, I shouldn't worry too much. It's not my, like my voice has been, like, known for being audible. Um, quite the opposite, actually. But anywho, here we are in Clanker's Cavern. I don't like this place. Not one bit. Really, I don't. Um, you might have noticed in the last two worlds that I had, like, you know, some redeemable quality of skill <laughs> in the way I handled them. You know, I actually knew what I was doing and was able to do them in one part each. Um, Clanker's Cavern, on the other hand, is not something I could do well. Exactly. Clanker's Cavern happens to suck. The big one. Um, really, it does. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing in this place, honestly, now. Again, it's not really something you can practice, because if you want to practice it, first you have to do, um, you have to do <laughs> Treasure Trove Cove and then Mumble Frickin' Mountain for, like, the 40th time. So, you know, I never really like doing those stages. I mean, I do, but after, like, the 50th time, it becomes useless. And now, especially now, since actually doing Treasure Trove Cove is useless, since I've actually recorded in the LP, there's no point in doing it again. But, you know, this is where it all starts to fall apart, I'll be honest with you. I can't do this for the life of me. And this place is just dirty. Ugh, it creeps me out. As if this giant-ass shark thing didn't already creep me out, but I mean... I'm Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. No one does, really. I mean, honestly. <laughs> do you want- do you, like, enjoy dirty water? Can anyone honestly say that? I don't think so. Um, but let's take a breath of fresh air, because this is the water level, if you could describe it like that. Um... Again, I really don't like anything dirty, actually. I don't mind messy. Messy's fine. My room's totally messy. But if it was dirty, ugh. And there is a difference, you know? Like, clean and dirty and messy. Three different things. Um, anywho, so we have to go down to the abyss and free Clanker from this anvil. Classic, classic comedy anvil. Um, and we have to save him using our horrible ass swimming controls isn't that just lovely um anyways you're gonna run out of air too is a strong possibility and if you die you know dying is gonna be horrible what you have to actually do is have hand me down air from this bubble fish thing who will save your life so you know make sure you do that just follow him around and he'll give you air i'm actually not doing too horribly bad i'm feeling confident that's it's probably going to be the death of me. 
But, you know, you want it, we also have to get all the notes down here. I mean, so our first order of business is freeing Clanker, because this is his cavern. What would it be without Clanker? Just be useless. A useless cavern at all. At best. Be like, I don't know. Just be dirty place. And I don't like dirty place. And, um, let me at least do a third lap around here. Again, getting the simple note becomes like a chore underwater, just because I can't swim at all. Um, yeah, have enough air, I suppose. Yeah, it's all the air I need. Um, so yes, three times, just fall around this key. Why this does that? I don't know. But, you know, who knows? But we freed Clanker, so that's something to feel good about, I suppose. We freed a giant-looking creepy-ass shark, right? That's what I want to tell my kids when I grew up. Oh, uh, right? Yes, that's a phrase. But there's a jiggy for us to get, and there's actually a lot of jiggies for us to get, because there's a lot of jiggies in Clanker. You can go through all Clanker. You'll soon, you'll soon realize that he's more friggin' creepy than you think. Um, first off, where am I in comparison to Clanker? Yes, let me, let me submerge, or the opposite of whatever that is, and come up here. Um, where am I going? Foist off. Is it here? I guess so. I sort of have, I sort of have a route in this level. Um, but at the same time, I really don't. I'm just kind of going around haphazardly. Oh, cool. Honeycombs. Again, don't want to be dying. That'd suck. Although health isn't really a big issue, it's more like oxygen that's going to be the death of you in this stage. Oh yeah, six minutes in. Lovely. Have we got one Jiggy? No, we haven't. Um, but we got, we got the prerequisites to get more Jiggy, so I suppose that's a good thing. Um, but yes, get notes in here, and an extra life. Why not? Even though game overs are kind of useless in this game. Oh, we got golden feathers. We'll be using those eventually. Um soon and we might as well shoot his grills his golden teeth if we can aim that'd be nice i doubt that though stop bobbling around clanker for the love of god and what you want to do is just go into his teeth because you can go into clanker and get a jiggy for that lovely um but you don't want to actually don't but get out get out of clanker we don't want to be in clanker just yet um because now we have to go down back into the water thought you're done with it no um, what's in here? It's probably a token, right? Technically, you don't really need all these things. These are, um, the one collectible. Well, no, there's a lot of collectibles that you don't need, but... You don't really need all the mumbo tokens. They give you more than you actually need, which is good. It helps me, you know, from a headache. Saves me from a headache, I guess, um, to say the least. But I will try to get all the ones I can, because honestly, now, if I ran out of mumbo tokens and didn't have enough... <laughs> well, that would suck. Um... To, put, to be the most optimistic about it. So where am I going right now? I've already been here. Um, looking around. Yes. Let's actually go on top of Clanker and get that... And claim that Jiggy. Now shall we? Um, before we get submerged again. Uh, let's go this way. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting a Jiggy, first of all. So, lovely. Yeah, we're doing... We're doing alright. I'm, again, this is gonna be a two-parter. Clanker's Cavern. Because that's just typically how things operate with him. And every world from now on. I think of, I don't think any world is going to take more than two parts besides maybe the last one, which is just offensive and outright offensive. This would confuse me the first time playing. Like, if I saw it, if I saw that grate covering the Jiggy, I would assume that I had to press a switch before I can actually, like, you know, open that grate. But no, you just, you just hit it because <laughs> screw everything you learned up to this point, this point in time in gaming. Um, if you hit before these guys come out, you can still kill them. Those guys creep me out. Mostly because of the kid. Or I think as, um, in Grunty's Revenge, you can't really kill them as a, you can't really kill them no matter what you do. Um, so yeah, Grunty's Revenge is actually what got me into the series, surprisingly. It's the first Banjo-Kazooie game I've actually played. I remember, I remember specifically, because once I finished playing this, I was like, Man, I gotta play the N64 ones, those look awesome. Then, like... <laughs> That coincidentally happened to be the same week where there's like, ah, you know what? GameStop isn't going to be selling N64 games anymore. They're too old. No one wants them. So screw you, Skid Flash. Um, but yeah, it's not like I had that alias as a kid anyways. Um, alias. Who cares? Um, notes. This place always, like, makes me confused about how, how it works. Just because of the perspective. Um, is that all the crabs? Yes, it is. Bean by Snippet Mutants are we, yours is prize. Talking backwards doesn't help either. Um, but yeah, like, it looks like this is a cliff, so you have to jump in, but it almost looks like it 
from this perspective it looks like it's higher than the other point but it's actually lower because screw that just like screwing jumping I mean who does that effectively not me um but yes get that please uh and we're at four okay Ethan again hopefully it won't take any hopefully it will take 20 minutes I actually I don't want it to take any less than 20 minutes. I know it's going to take above, like, 15, but I don't want it to be less than 20, because then it's going to be, like... Because <laughs> then I have no idea what I'm going to be doing after that. Um, where are the notes? One of these underground thing have notes, and that's scaring me, because I don't know which one it is. Um, but first of all, make sure you have air, because we're going to go on a trek. A one-way trek. <laughs> to a jiggy. That might cost us for lives. I always get nor nervous this doing this one. Well, I think I can hold my breath, re like, realistically hurt, hold my breath during this entire time. Maybe. I always I always try to think about that in games, like, if I can hold, or movies, if I can hold my breath as long as they can. Um, probably not, because there's a difference between actually, like, holding your breath and doing nothing, and then holding your breath and swimming. And Kazooie's also a bird. <laughs> I don't think birds were naturally made to hold their breath for long periods of time. Although, who knows, you could surprise me. Um, but yes, getting quite a bit nervous. I'm not sure if Banjo actually gets any more air bubbles in this game. I don't think it's related to your life. Oh shit, where are the honeycombs in this game? Or in this place? <laughs> That's something I don't know. But before I worry about that, I probably should be worrying about where the hell the notes are underwater. I think I'm not crazy. Yes, they're in here. Okay, good. Goody. <laughs> I can actually get these. Unless they're golden feathers and they're just screwing with me. Nope, notes. Precious, precious notes. Like music to my ears. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, let's just get these and submerge. And we're almost done with this part, I think. But we'll stop it before we actually go into Clanker. That sounds like a good idea. Um, actually, no, you know what we want to do really, really quickly? Is, I don't know, actually. I, I, I really don't. I never know. Um, there's a... I'm pretty sure there's a honeycomb, like, right there. We'll get that later, though. Right now, we're actually wasting time. See, if I was more efficient, we'd probably have done this already, but not, so, yay. Um, but bust this crave open. And we can get a jiggy in here. Yay. Because, <laughs> that's the only word I can think of right now. And go in here so we can get another, he um, a empty, an empty honeycomb. And I'm pretty sure after we get both of these in this level, we'll actually have gone enough to actually get a new life. So, lovely. I can't wait for one of those, right? And I think it's down here. Actually, no, wait, you know what? I'll, I'll, before I go... What am I doing? <laughs> um, just get this one while I'm here, I suppose. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Hopefully it is. But, some, yes, there we go. So there's the empty honeycomb piece. It's below this thing. So, just get it below that thing. Um, and up here, is there anything cool I can do? Nope. Not at all. Okay, so, don't care. Uh... Can I go up here? And, yes, we're low on time, kind of getting noises. But not actually, not at all, really. I'm, I'm doing fairly well in this place, actually. Um, just, it's actually fun, you know? I mean, my commentary is like, what the hell is going on? But other than that, it's just nifty. Um, I want to do another thing. And I think there's a token we can get from this side of the teeth, which is not as useful, useful, but you know we can still get it. Just get out and get in. I don't want to go and clank her just yet. And there we go. So then I think yes, I'll I'll get the last jiggy outside of clanker, and then we'll go inside clanker. And then everything will be okay in the world. Um, up here. So just watch your footing. Again, you don't want to fall. See, this is something you can't do in a 2D platformer. I mean, like watching your footing like this. I mean, I'm sure you could find a way, but like, I don't know, I like it much better when it's 3D like this. Because when you have to watch your footing in 2D games, that's kind of all of them. Because I find a lot, to, a lot of 2D platformers just slippery as all hell. Even when it's like logically not. <laughs> I just find it that way because I find myself dying a lot in 2D platformers. But anywho, um, yeah, I think that's about it for this part. In the next part, we'll be going in Clanker and finishing up this place. So until then, this has been Skidplash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!